Happy Bus! Crime lies hidden in the puzzle, and the truth emerges through reasoning. Detective Stories of Inspector Chip. The Poisoned Chocolate Incident 4, Part 1. This white machine is the outdoor unit of the air conditioner, and this pipe runs straight into the air conditioning in Hank's office. Inspector Chimp pointed to the long, thick pipe he had just pulled from the air conditioner, and Raleigh looked at it quizzically. Oh, so that's how it works, but Inspector Chimp, what's that got to do with me? Ahem, uh, Rolly, suck in your belly. <laughs> that's right, suck it in. Raleigh sucked in his belly. Inspector Chimp held up both hands, measuring first Raleigh's belly, then the hole in the air conditioner unit. Yes, that works. Maybe a little snug, but you can do it. Ugh. What is it you want me to do, Inspector Chimp? I need you to crawl into Hank's office and check the air conditioning vents for clues along the way. Wait, what? There are clues in the air conditioner? That's right. When we were searching for the evidence at the scene, we kept missing one place. The air conditioner. That Swinley Batson is a very small fellow. He could easily squeeze through the vents and get into Hank's office without leaving a trace. <laughs> I see! Then leave it to me, Inspector Chimp! Hearing Inspector Chimp's explanation, Raleigh immediately came to life. Armor module! Iron ball mode! Raleigh pushed a button on his red waistcoat, and he was soon bound up into a red ball. Ready, Inspector Chimp! Great! Let's go, Rolly. Inspector Chimp shoved Rolly into the pipe, and the little red ball started rolling quickly. <laughs> when Rolly finally rolled to a stop, he stretched out and opened his eyes. Oh, the pipe was narrower than Rolly thought. Holding his belly, Rolly wriggled towards the target location. Inspector Chimp, Rolly here? Can you hear me? Yes. I've reached the target location, and I'm standing right across from where Hank is sleeping. I can see clear signs, <laughs> signs of drool on his sheets. <laughs> Good work, Rolly. Take a look around and see if you can find any clues. Leave it to me. Rolly put on his gloves and poked around inside the air conditioner vent. Mm, clues, clues, clues. Mm. Huh? What's this? Raleigh found a transparent bottle with dark liquid out from a corner of the vent. Inspector Chimp! I found a little bottle with dark liquid in it! Good work, Rolly. I bet that's just the clue we're looking for. <laughs> Great! <laughs> in his excitement, Raleigh forgot to hold his belly in. <laughs> Raleigh fell from the vent. Rolly! Rolly, are you okay? Inspector Chimp rushed in from outside and picked Raleigh up. Oh, I'm fine. Luckily, I landed on the bed, or I might have busted a tail feather. Oh, but never mind that. Here's the clue I found. Inspector Chimp put on his gloves and took the little bottle from Raleigh. He poured out a drop of the black liquid, then gently tapped his badge <laughs> to activate the data module. Ingredients, 50% sugar, 15% flavoring, 80% cocoa. Yes, this is highly concentrated chocolate. This is what sent Hank to the hospital. Inspector Chimp pulled the brim of his hat down and smiled. All the clues have been assembled. Now, time to make an arrest. <laughs> <laughs>